you guys so much for calling in. I uh, appreciate the time that you're taking. It's something that we've been talking about, um, but we are looking at a deadline now to get everything over from online office into another format, which we are going to highly, highly suggest that you use Google Drive. So as always, we will keep everybody on mute, but I will go ahead and monitor the questions in case anything comes up that you guys would like to have um, more clarification on. So as you probably have heard, um, where to live, which is what we have right now for CB Great Lakes, CB Schmidt, Ohio, and CB Florida Homes is going away at the end of the year. Lone Wolf purchased where to live a few years back and they have decided that they're getting rid of that platform. They're no longer gonna be using where to live. We um, demoed many, many sites including the site that Lone Wolf recommended that they're gonna partner with, and we have decided that we're going with Moxie. So if you wanna do a little research on it, Moxie works. Um, we're getting a few different platforms, Moxie Engage, which is the flyer I sent out this week for you to share with your agents. We're getting Moxie Present, which is the CMA tool. We're getting Moxie Talent, which is for your managers to help them recruit. And then we're getting Moxie Hub, which will be their landing page, basically, along with Schmidt Resources, where they can go to get to all of their other vendors. So uh, Moxie Hub will actually allow them to log in via the API to things like dot loop, app files, um, listings to leads, everything like that. So where Schmidt Resources is an open format that we like to keep open so that all of our great recruits can see what we have to offer, Moxie Hub will allow your agents to log into CB Exchange, um, List Hub, like I said, listings to leads, dot loop, app files, pretty much any third party technology vendor that we have, they are able to write an API for that. So we're very excited about it. We do have a timeline. Like I said, Where to Live is going away at the end of the year. Um, and we all know that as much as we probably have not been using online office very frequently lately, there is some probably information in there on your office levels that we do need to pay attention to before we lose it. So we're going to kind of just discuss that real quickly here, what that looks like. And if you have any questions, just let me know. So obviously that's one of my favorite quotes. Change is the only constant in life. Because if you're not moving forward, you're just standing still. And that's no fun for anyone. And it's not good for our agents. So online office, as it resides today, that's Michigan. That's Ohio. That's Florida. This is where you want to go for your office and see what's in storage. You don't have to pay attention to the company level storage because through JD and the marketing team and myself, we have transferred that stuff over. But if you have stuff in your individual offices storage that you're using, that your agents are using on a daily basis, that's what we need to get moved over. And there's no great way for me to know that and without your help. So obviously you wanna come over here where it says uh, resource center and then storage. Now, obviously there's three versions. There's the company version, which is the one you don't need to worry about. We've already moved over a lot of that stuff, including aerials, paperwork, relocation stuff, all that good stuff. My storage, which is if you do want to pay attention, if you've been here long enough, you may have something in there that you want to get out. And then office storage is what we're concentrating on today. So when you click into office storage, you should be able to find your office, obviously, depending on how it's set up. So this is the Michigan version of it. And you can see there's some older formatted folders in here and then by office name. And then if you go into Ohio, it's going to be the same thing. You'll have your three versions. If you go into Office, it'll show you all your Office options. That's just a different look. I always liked Table, which we're not here for online Office training because it'll be bye-bye in about six weeks. And then here's Mich or Florida's. So again, Office. And then all the offices that you have. You'll know right away if you have nothing in it because it's going to say zero, which is fine. If you haven't been using this on, on your office for a while, that's okay. It sort of started getting antiquated about the time I started working here five years ago. So it's not been highly used, but we do need to pay attention to make sure that we're not missing anything in our exciting transition over to Moxie. So I am going to just go into here and pick an office that has stuff in storage. And it looks like Boyne City has a bunch. 
Um, so there's a listings to leads marketing presentation where a buyer's finding your home for sale and the wire fraud form. Now, obviously things like wire fraud has been moved over to dot loop. So if you have any question for your agents and your offices, just check dot loop, check app files, make sure that that form has been moved over. Most likely it has, but it never hurts to double check. Uh, so this one where our buyers finding your home for sale, if you click on that, it's going to download it. And depending on how your system's set up, I have a Mac, so it's going to look a little bit different than if you're running a PC. It's going to download that for you. So if this is something you're like, hey, that's kind of cool. I know it's got the old logo on it and we can get that updated, but I don't want to lose that information. I don't want to lose that verbiage for my agent. So all you have to do is download it like we did. For me, it's in my downloads folder, which I had every intention of clearing out, which obviously I didn't. So let's see what we can do to find that. Uh, right here, where are buyers finding your home for sale? I would suggest downloading everything that you want to pull down from online office first and having it in your downloads folder and then moving it all over to a Google Drive. It's a lot easier than doing it one at a time, especially because I know you're getting interrupted, you're getting phone calls, you have agents coming to your desk. So I would just keep a folder in your downloads called office folder or whatever it makes sense to you. And then you can move it over to my drive all at one time. For example, I had our leadership meeting on Tuesday and I had people emailing me stuff, so I just had a folder in my downloads folder called for meeting. And then I was able to email all those out at one time without having to individually pick and find the ones that I needed. So on Google Drive, moving away from online office, this is what your drive will look like. You all should have business G Suite, which will allow you to download your drive folder onto your computer. There's a few steps involved, so the easiest thing to do is just head to Google and Google download drive on computer, whatever verbiage works for you. If you can't figure it out, no worries. JD or myself can help you do that. But you can see this little guy at the top of my screen. And then when I go into my finder, which is like Windows Explorer, you can see that I actually have my drive on my hard top, on my desktop. The reason why that's important to me is because if you're working offline, um, if you are trying to quickly download, move, copy, and change things around, I'm more comfortable within my Finder, vid Finder screen than I am on the online drive version. So it is very user-friendly and it can be a really good way for you to be more comfortable with using my drive and not using the online portal, which is what you see behind the Finder box here, which is the online version of drive. Now I have my sync on. It tells you if everything's up to date. If I'm working offline and I make changes from something from my Finder, as soon as I have internet connection, it's gonna sync again. So everything I did locally will go up to the cloud and vice versa. Anything if I'm working in the cloud, say on my cell phone, if I had to make a change, it's gonna sync to my desktop, my Mac, the next time that I log in and have internet connection. So it works both ways. So it can be very user friendly. Now caveat to that, if your agents have G Suite Basic, that's not a feature of Basic. So you have to have business, which all of our staff does, but we have extra businesses, licenses lying around for G Suite. So if you have an agent that's really working in the G Suite world, in the realm of G Suite, and you know they would utilize that, we can bump them up to business without it costing them anything. We just don't want to open that up carte blanche to all of our agents because of a lot of our agents don't even use it at all. And we don't want to waste the business on the agents not using it. But you know your agents best. And if you have anybody in your offices that are really using G Suite, they're using Drive, they're using Sheets, they're using Hangouts, they're using Docs, let us know and we can bump them up to business and so that they can do this file stream for Google Drive because I do highly recommend it. Because you can see from here, it looks just like it would if I'm working off um, my, my own system and not from the cloud. So that was a little side note. So here is Drive, um, online version of Drive. So I went to my apps, which is right here, and I went to Drive. And again, I always like to point this out because people forget, but these can be drop and dragged. So if you don't use Docs but use Hangouts a lot, you can drop them wherever you want them. So keep that in mind. It's kind of a cool feature. So I went to Drive, My Drive Loaded, and then you should see something that says Shared Drives. 
If you don't, it means that we accidentally missed the fact that you need business. And all we have to do is bump you from basic to business on the admin site. Any of your RSCs, myself, JD, we can all do that for you, but you should have shared drives. So from here, if you go to new, you can go to um, new folder. And bear with me, I think I just screwed that up. Um, yes, bear with me. Sorry, they kind of hide it a little bit. So you don't want to click new like I did the first time, which was a mistake. You want to come down where it says shared drives and right click. You want to right click on your mouse, new shared drive. This is where you can create your office's shared drive. The reason why the shared drive is important is because only your agents that you share it with will be able to see it. So it's not like some of the documents we've been sharing, um, like the tax document y'all have been helping me with, which thank you so much. This shared drive, you can share it with the people in your offices and then they'll be able to access it. Now there is a issue if they don't use our CB Schmidt Ohio, CB Great Lakes, CB Florida Homes G Suite account, you can still share it with their other Gmail you just have to go into share settings to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and just do test office drive and hit create. And it's working. There we go. So this is where you want to add members. If you click add members there, you can add them as manager, which you and your manager should and maybe an RSC should only be the only managers on there. Content manager, which is lets them add, edit, move, or delete, which again, I would not give that to your agents because we all know they would accidentally delete something you need. A contributor that lets them add and edit files or a viewer, which is probably what you're gonna wanna give your general agent population of because in that way, they can't go and make things and make changes and delete files. And then you simply start typing in their email address here and your, your contacts will pop in. Choose the one you want to share with. You can type them a note. Hey, this is our new storage for the office, whatever it might be. It will send them an email so that they can go ahead and add that shared drive into their Google Drive so they can access it easier. Or if you don't want to worry about that and you want to notify them all at once after you've made all the changes, you can skip that by just clicking there. Fortunately, you can add more than one person at a time. Unfortunately, you can't add a group. So if you have your agents in a Google group already, you can't share it with them all at one time. So you do have to go individually and add them on there. I'm gonna go ahead and click cancel so that my husband doesn't yell at me for using him as a guinea pig, which is usually what happens, and go back to here. So now that I have my shared drive turned on, and let's just use my meeting um, in my downloads as an example. So you went to online office, you pull down every single thing that you need. You're ready to make the transition over. Depending on how much content you have in there is how long it's gonna take. When I first did my dump from Dropbox over to, to Drive, I just let it run all night because it took forever. As you can imagine, I had a lot of files. If you're only moving up over 10, 12, you know, whatever it might be, it won't take near as long. So all you can do here is you can select every single thing in the file, or you can select the file itself. Oops, well, I didn't wanna do that. And then drop and drag them over. And it's gonna show you right here that it's uploading those items. Once it's uploaded, it's going to let you know that it's complete. Right here, five uploads complete, and you can see how quickly that went. Now there's not a lot of content here, so it didn't take too long, but that's how you can add those um, all the documents from online office over to Google Drive. Now you can do a lot of things with your team drive, your shared drive, they used to call them team drives, I still do sometimes, so sorry about that. If you click the little down arrow next to uh, what you named it, you can add members, you can manage members, so say somebody left. You can email them once you have it all, you've added your members, you've gotten everything in there that you need, you can go ahead and email them you can change the settings. So if you click on that, you can see sharing outside Schmidt family companies. You want to be able to do that because if you have an agent not using their Schmidt provided email address, they'll need to be able to do that. So all of these, you just click edit. 
it's going to def- it's going to defer that outside people are allowed to do it just because we do have so many agents not using the Schmidt provided email address. You can do things like change the theme. You can add your own photo. Say you have a great photo of the outside of your office. You can make that. You can always rename it if you name it something you don't like. Um, you have a lot of opportunity there to change it. Google Drive works just like a finder window would. If you want to delete things, you can go ahead and trash them. Okay, that didn't work on a Mac. That should work on a PC. Right click, you have a lot of options. You can download them. If your agent wants to move them over to their own system, they can. If you uh, want to, like I want to, because it's just a test, you just delete for everyone and then it's gonna delete them. And then now I have nothing in there. So this is what we're asking you guys to do on the office level to ensure that there is nothing sitting in online office that you and your agents are actively using. And again, you just wanna go to Resource Center, Storage. Oops, it didn't back me out, let's back up. Office Storage, and again, make sure you check your My Storage because there might be something in there. And then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and check your office to see if there's any content in there that you would like to move over. And again, that's the Michigan version, but it works the exact same way in all of our regions. Again, most everything in Michigan and Ohio, if it's dealing with any sort of contractual forms, those would probably have already been moved over to dot loop. If you're in Florida, they most likely have already been moved over to app files. But just take a look, make sure there's nothing that we're missing, and go ahead and do a shared drive. Again, right click, shared drive and create a shared drive for your office. And then go ahead and let your manager and yourself be those managers of the drive so that you can make sure that they have access to change that, move that. And I would also highly recommend adding your RSCs in your region just so that they have access as well. Looks like I have a question, so I'm gonna go ahead and check that. Um, Sue out of Indian River, Michigan. So is it that they have to use the Schmidt provided email address or that they have to be using G Suite? I thought when I tried this, it wouldn't allow anyone without Gmail to access. Sue, I do believe after the issues you had when you first set this up is when we had to go into our Schmidt G Suite account and allow outside people to have it. So now when you go here and share drive settings, you can check and make sure that it's, it's been moved to people outside Schmidt family companies can be given access. If that doesn't work for you, give me a call and let me know. Maybe we can do a hangout or something so I can see your screen so that I make sure that I'm not giving you the wrong information. But we did turn that feature on, but you are right, it was not turned on in the front end of this. So it is something that we did turn on just because we do know that a lot of our agents are using their own Gmail, um, Yahoo, AOL, whatever it might be. Any other questions on that? And again, we have until the end of the year, which gives us about six weeks. But in case you are unaware, we have a few holidays between now and then. So we do wanna have you start looking at this as soon as possible. Um, and just get moving on this. Okay, great, Sue, thank you. Elizabeth, that's actually a great point. Elizabeth Glass in um, Ohio pointed out that if you're not sure if something is most current, check out schmidtresources.com and make sure it hasn't already been moved over. Um, a lot of the, especially the marketing pieces, have already been moved over to Schmidt Resources so that you don't have to worry about that. So say you go into Schmidt Resources, you go to Ohio, you go to luxury resources, a lot of that stuff has already been pulled over. Now we all know that sometimes your agents get lost because we do have so much support, so much content, so many tools that you may choose that you want to provide them with an office drive anyway. And even if it is in Schmidt resources, you wanna pull down the newest content and put it in the drive, you can do that too. Um, Judy Luptak, that's a great point. She just sent me a text, so I'm going to cover that in a second. So thank you, Judy. I did see that, just so you know. Um, but to Elizabeth's point, yes, a lot of this content has already been pulled over. So just if you have any question whether you should have it in your office's drive or not, you can always reach out to myself or your RSCs, and we can get you an answer on that. So to 
I gotta shut that email off. It's super annoying. To Judy's point, um, a lot of the agents used, and let me just go to my drive to show you. A lot of the agents used um, online office to create a link for their email banners because they needed that HTML code. So if that happens, if they used this prior, so right here you can see um, I loaded email signatures in so that I could get that HTML URL so that I could put it into um, HTML setup so that I was able to have that image come through, that's going to break. So if you have agents doing that, if after we make the change you hear agents say, oh, my signature stopped working, that's why, because you can see here, onlineoffice.cbgreatlakes.com slash storage slash public, blah, blah, blah. That link will no longer be good for us after 1231. So there's gonna be a small issue um, with that and just, it's, it's a simple fix. We just have to be aware of it. So it's things like their email signatures, things like their zap banners that they set up. Those type of things need to start being moved over so that we can update that HTML so that we make sure that their links don't break. That's a great time to point out the fact that if your agents are using cbgreatlakes.com slash, why can't I think of any of our 400 or 700 Michigan agents right now? Oh, we'll pick on Jason. If they're using this URL in their marketing, they're gonna be fine. Moxie is moving over these URLs for us. So storage URLs, as Judy pointed out, will break. cbgreatlakes.com slash jason.rice will not break. They will not have to do anything about that. That URL is going to be moved over for them. It'll point to their brand new Moxie site, which will need a little bit of legwork to get set up, which we'll talk about soon. All that training is going to be coming out soon. Um, but this link has been requested that they move over, and that works for all of our regions, CB Schmidt, CB Florida Homes. So they don't have to worry about that. So thank you for those questions and points, Sue, Elizabeth, and Judy. I appreciate it. I don't see any other questions. Um, so of course, as always, if you have anything for me after the fact, let me know. Um, we'll work together to get this done and get this um, moved over from online office onto what I feel is a much better, um, a much better service for our agents. It's more user friendly. It's way more mobile. I use my Google Drive app on my phone all the time because I'm not always able to pull up my computer so I can just head over there quick, get to my drive on my phone, look up the information that I might need, and it's super easy for our agents to do the same. Again, keep in mind if any of your agents have BASIC and they want that file stream, they just have to reach out to us. We're sitting on many seats that we can move over, but we want to make sure that they're actually going to use it and not waste it on an agent that's using their own personal Gmail. Um, on a daily basis. Okay, well, no more questions came in while I got kind of rambled there for a minute. So I appreciate your time. I appreciate your help in getting us transitioned over to our exciting new platform with Moxie. Um, again, I appreciate everything you've done this year in transitioning things like G Suite, Account Tech. We've had so many exciting changes and it's all for the best. And I was uh, teaching Zap one day and an agent's like, oh, please tell me this is the last platform we'll ever need. And I said, well, no, it's not because we never stop moving, right? Change is the only constant in life, but it really is to drive productivity, to drive success, and to really help our agents in their businesses. So I appreciate your support of this. If you have any questions after the fact, if this is all Greek to you, let me know. We can do some one-on-one -on -one training. I can come visit some offices. We can get this figured out for you, your managers, and your agents. So thanks so much, everyone. Bye-bye.